While it hasn't been long since the 23-24 season got underway, we can already name a bunch of players who have particularly disappointed us. So today, we would like to show you the most embarrassing, outrageous and hilarious fails we've already seen from footballers this season. But before we get started, we would like you to answer our question. Which one of these Premier League losers scored the least goals for his new club in the 22-23 season? Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, Anthony, Richarlison, Mikhailo Mudrik. Feel free to leave your answers in the comments and get ready for watching. Here we go. Let's begin with Federico Gatti and his outrageous blunder against Sassuolo. Juventus were 3-2 down 95 minutes in. The keeper Wojciech Szczesny took a free kick. He passed the ball to Gatti, but what happened next is a whole nother story. It looked like Federico was too scared of his opponent, so he went for a first-time back pass to his keeper. But there was no keeper. Chesney was too late to get back in goal, so the ball rolled inside the empty net. Sassuolo were now 4-2 ahead, while the Bianconeri had to suffer their first defeat in the Serie A season. Now to the World Cup hero Emiliano Martinez. Aston Villa and Crystal Palace were struggling to find the net until Mateta made the run and crossed the ball into the box 50 minutes in. What happened next is that Emiliano slipped and fell down on the pitch. In a moment he got to his feet, but it was too late. Hudson Edward was there to punish the villains for their keeper's mistake. Looking ahead, however, we have to admit that Villa still won the game, thanks to their three very late goals. And this story took place in a Portuguese league game on September 16th. Now pay attention to the Braga goalkeeper Mateus Magalhaes. He parried a tough shot, but the ball was still in play, so Mateus rushed to get it. His teammate could have easily cleared it away from danger, but the keeper decided to do it all by himself. His first touch, however, made it all too easy for the Ferenc striker Rui Costa, who took the ball and sent it into the empty net. To think of it, none of it would have happened if they were not for the goalkeeper's desire to be a hero, as his teammate could have easily sorted it out without him. Now to the most hilarious blooper from a world-class player, the Al-Hilal midfielder Sergei Milinkovic Savic. The Serb did a good job intercepting a pass at first, but then ran towards his own goal and ended up in a tough situation. The solution, however, was all too obvious. Just clear it away for a throw-in. But Sergei came up with another decision as he went for a risky pass with the outside of his foot. Unfortunately for him, Abdul Razak Hamdallah was there to make an interception. He controlled the ball with his chest and made it 3-1 for Al Ittihad. However, despite his embarrassing mistake, the Serb ultimately became one of the best players of that match, as his side managed to make an amazing comeback and win the game 4-3. In early September, Japan thrashed Germany 4-1, and we can say that each one of the four conceded goals had a lot to do with the Germans' poor defending. But Antonio Rudiger was the one to have it by far the worst. Japan's third goal is entirely on him. He passed the ball to Robin Gosens and Robin failed to pass it back to Rudiger. Takefusa Kubo got the ball, ran goalwards and passed it to Asano past Tash Tegan for an easy finish. If you still think it was actually Gosens' fault, just watch it once again, while paying attention to Rudiger and what he was doing. In fact, he was doing nothing. Why was he standing still instead of following his opponent? That's something we would like to ask him, as the Germans started chasing Asano only when he was already on his way to the penalty area and gave up in a moment, thus making it embarrassingly easy for Japan. Our next hero is the one and only Harry Maguire. England were playing Scotland and were ahead 2 nil 67 minutes in. But then there came Harry's time to shine. Andrew Robertson ran down the right wing and crossed it low into the box. Harry Maguire was there to make an interception as his gentle touch sent the ball into the back of his own net. Such an exquisite own goal could have started a comeback for Scotland, but another Harry, Harry Kane, denied all their efforts with his goal which made it 3-1 for the three Lions. Now to the Man United newcomer Andrea Onana. The Red Devils had a pretty good start against Bayern, but then 28 minutes in, Leroy Sané went for a shot from the edge of the box. 
though it looked as an easy one to deal with, the ball still went in after Onana's incredibly unlucky save attempt. However, despite all the criticism he had faced, the Cameroonian managed to make up for his blooper in the second half, as his goalkeeping saved United from a heavy defeat. The Champions League game between Manchester City and Cervena Svezda was also one to remember. The Serbian side were sensationally 1-0 ahead at halftime. Though it didn't take long for the citizens to get back, 47 minutes in, and then score again 13 minutes later. But what really made City's second goal possible is Omri Glazer's goalkeeping. Julian Alvarez made a cross and the keeper meant to punch the ball away, but ultimately punched it inside his own net. Interestingly, it wasn't counted as an own goal. The goal was awarded to Alvarez and it was his first ever goal from a direct free kick, which is actually more than Mbappé and Holland can boast with. Our next story took place in South Korea, in a second division match. In late August, there was a game between Seoul and Busan. The home team found the net 36 minutes in, but two minutes later it all suddenly went wrong for Seoul. The goalkeeper, Moon Jung-in, caught the ball after a cross. He meant to put the ball in play as soon as possible, but instead, this happened. Yes, the Busan player, Chong Jun, did a good job as the ball bounced off his head into the back of the net. But still, it was the keeper's mistake first of all. Moon jung in should have paid way more attention to the player's positioning as the goal he gave away was absolutely ridiculous. And now to a pre-season friendly between Real Madrid and Milan. Los Blancos were trailing 2-0 until the Milan goalkeeper Marcos Sportiello helped them with their comeback 57 minutes in. Fede Valverde took a shot from long range. It definitely wasn't the best of his shots. It went low and lacked power. But in the end, it was still too much to handle for the Rossoneri keeper. Jan Zoma, the Inter newcomer, had a debut he would rather forget. Only five minutes in, he tackled the Salzburg player in the box and gave away a penalty. Luckily for him, Salzburg failed to convert it as the taker sent the ball to the stands. But less than two minutes later, Zoma made yet another fatal mistake. The Salzburg player now only needed to roll it into the empty net to make it 1-0 for his side. The first six minutes of that match make us consider Zoma's debut one of the worst debuts we have ever seen. And what is more, it wasn't the end of it. Half an hour later, Jan once again failed to collect the ball and gave away a corner, which was followed by another Salzburg goal a couple of moments later. The Bundesliga, March Day 2, RB Leipzig vs Stuttgart. Stuttgart were 1 0 ahead when the goalkeeper Alexander Nubel suddenly changed the course of the game. He got the ball from his teammate and tried to kick it away. But the ball hit Henriks and off his foot ricocheted into the back of the net. After that, it took RB Leipzig only 5 minutes to score 4 more goals and set the final score 5 1. Aaron Rumsdale has now turned from a first-choice Arsenal keeper to a backup option for David Raya. It might be that the reason for Arteta to bench him was Aaron's inconsistency and at times outrageous goalkeeping. In a match against Fulham, 52 seconds into the game, Bukayo Saka gave the ball away, and the Cottagers were on the break. Aaron, despite all his efforts, was unable to help his team as he was too far away from goal to save Andreas Pereira's long-range shot. Even though it's not like it was entirely the goalkeeper's fault as it all started with Saka's poor back pass, but Ramsdale's decision-making is still questionable. He meant to rush for the ball at first but changed his mind and turned back in the end, if he were not so hesitant to go for the ball. And one more Champions League story to wrap up our video. Inter were playing Real Sociedad away, and Jan Zoma passed the ball to the defender Alessandro Bastoni early in the game. Though it wasn't the best of passes, the Italian managed to sort it out. But then it seemed he got possessed by Leo Messi as he tried to carry the ball forward and dribble past three opponents at once. As you would expect, Bastoni got dispossessed and Brais Mendes made the most of the defender's mistake as he sent the ball into the back of the net only three minutes in. That was the end of our compilation of the most outrageous bloopers of this season. 
as the season has just got underway, there is still plenty of time for our today's heroes to brace themselves and prove their critics wrong. So please let us know in the comments if you still have faith in them and whom do you expect to have a successful campaign despite not having the best of starts. Dear friends, feel free to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button if you enjoyed this video, as that will help its promotion and allow you to get a notification once our new video is out. That's it for today, but there's a bunch of other videos we have on our channel, so don't hesitate to check them out.